in our previous video we saw that we created a mapper to store the address information and that can be sent on the access token and we created these properties in the attributes tab of the user detail like country street region and postal code the problem with this user interface here is the labels which we are giving here for to each of the fields has the value of the backend property and not the user readable name for example postal underscore code instead of having this we could also have had postal space code which will be more readable the other thing here is the values which we give doesn't have any validation in a sense the postal code always will have a six digit number in our case and if i want to make sure this in the attributes tab it is not possible and if i want to give some mandatory condition for some of the attributes that is also not possible and if we want to give some tooltip label that is also not possible over here so to overcome these problems what key clock has done is from the key clock version 24 they have introduced user profile let's see how that works and we will see the user interface changes here since i have already upgraded the key clock from the previous version to the version 25 that is already available in this application for me and uh, if you want to upgrade from the previous version to the new version you just need to change the properties in the key clock conf file which is present in conf here so the only thing what i have done is i have copied all these properties from my previous version so let's go to our ream here users sagar you see the attributes tab is no more available for me and if you have migrated from previous version to the 24 or above at first you might see the attributes tab and later once you migrate those properties using user profile it might vanish from here and the user profile configuration is available in dream settings i'll open two tabs for this here in the dream settings user profile what we will do is we also need to group the set of properties in a sense you saw the address had several attributes or several properties which can be grouped that can be done using this attributes group what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create a group called address the readable name is address let me save now in the attributes create an attribute street display name is also street i want to group this property under address we'll see how this works here you'll see enable when we will not cover this in this video and required field is if this field is mandatory i'm not going to make this as mandatory right now and who can have the access for this field to view or edit for now what i'm going to do is i'll give the permission to all the users and the admin and you'll see validations and annotations we'll cover these in a while let me save this similarly we'll create the other properties as well okay now that we have created these properties under the attribute group of address the display names are these and the property names are these let's go to the user again and open sagar now you can see there is a group called address and within this group you will find all these properties and these are easily readable now comes the validation part let's take the postal code here postal code can always be an integer value six digit integer value so what i'm going to do is i will add a validator so key clock provides several validators let's select integer for simplicity the minimum value is one followed by five zeros and the maximum value is six times nine i'm going to save this here still this validation is not yet saved let me save and now if we open sagar again and 
the give so it says postal code is invalid number and if I give a seven digit number postal code must be between one followed by five zeros and six times nine let's see if we change it to six nine and save so this is saved now you can see over here what does this mean whatever the validator we added here is working as expected and if we want to add some annotations in essence if i want to add some tool tip kind of stuff what i can do i can use this annotation annotation not only adds that it also changes the type of the field we'll see it in a while so helper text above the input field and this will be six digit postal code save now we see here sagar and on click of this earlier this was not there if i click you'll see the text which we added now there is an interesting part to this since we use all the properties which were already uh, as part of the address mapper keycloak provides the localization properties for them here in the ream settings in localization if you go to effective message bundles select keycloak version 3 go to admin and english search you will find several properties with their translated or english translated values defined over here for us we have address claim since we are using address you'll see there are several properties available here we have postal code and i will use this property and if i use this property this value should be displayed user attribute name for postal code let's see if this works as expected i have just copied and go to the postal code so instead of this value a dollar sign followed by a curly bracket paste this value and close the bracket save let's go to the user sagar again and check over here there you go so we can also use the predefined properties if you want what if i want to make this postal code as mandatory field what i'm going to do is here you see property called required field and so this should be a required field for both users and admins because both of them are uh, able to view and edit and required when it's always required this and this are similar so we are not going to touch this save and we open sagar again here you see it's a mandatory field and if i just delete and try to save please specify the postal code revert and save so it's saved now there is also a possibility that the postal code can be set of codes in a sense I, I can have an option drop down kind of field which will have the values so instead of manually typing here we can provide uh, options uh, drop down and the user can select from that how can that be done let's go over here postal code and what i'm going to do is i'll delete this validation add a validator and here options so what was our value let me copy i'll add six eight as well six eight six nine and maybe seven zero let's keep this as three values save and i'll not have this for now we'll see why that was popped up save and if you go to sagar again although we had the options here in the validation here you will not see any drop down 
label or drop down option to be selected so that we can select one of the three values specified let's see by giving a value which is not there in the postal code options in these and save it will not save because this value 71530071 is not part of these option values now what i can do is i will add another annotation in a sense what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the type of the input field here it's a text let's change it to a select you will have several options you can play around with them we will select this input type is a select field and save now if we go to sagar again and you'll see we have a select field and if we save this is going to work here apart from the given validators we can also add custom validators using validator spi we are not going to cover that as well so these are some of the flexibilities and features provided by keycloak from the version 24 and this is quite interesting so that was it from the user profile features thanks for watching